Selenium is the 33rd element on the periodic table, and I think it's quite an interesting element. It is necessary um, for life, and so many people actually supplement their diet with selenium. Um, also, uh, these Brazil nuts are actually quite high in selenium, so eating these actually uh, gives you a lot of selenium. However, selenium um, in too high quantities is actually bad. Um, when you sweat, there are compounds in your sweat that have sulfur in them. And selenium is right below sulfur. So sulfur in sweat, um, the sulfur compounds in sweat is a lot of why sweat can sometimes stink. And selenium, if it were in the place of the sulfur, which it can be because it's right below it on the periodic table, it has very similar chemistry, it would smell even worse. So if you have too much selenium, it can actually be absorbed, fill in the place where the sulfur usually goes in those sweat compounds, and it stinks a lot more. So that is a danger with selenium. Should be said that tellurium, which is the element below selenium, is much worse in this respect. A major industrial use for selenium is in uh, Xeroxing. So selenium has the very cool property that it is actually an insulator in the dark and becomes a conductor in the light. Now it's in this area of the periodic table where it, there's all the semiconductors are and there's very interesting electrical properties. So this is selenium's interesting electrical property in the dark it's an insulator, and in the light, it's a conductor. You can see how this would be useful in copying. So uh, what happens is there's a cylinder that's coated with selenium, and there's a thin, just a little bit of a static charge that's placed on the outside of the cylinder. And when the cylinder is exposed to an image where there is light, it suddenly becomes conductive, and the, and the charge drains away and where it st stays dark, then the charge stays. Then a thin coat of black powder is, um, you know, wiped onto, or powdered onto the um, cylinder, and the places where there is charge, uh, the powder will stick. So the places where it's dark, the powder sticks. Where it's, uh, where it was light, and there is no charge, the powder doesn't stick. Then it's pressed onto paper, and heat treated and then there you go you have a, uh, you have a black and white copy so that is a very very cool application of selenium it also was used in light meters for photographers but of course now that's obsolete and although sadly in some of my previous videos I didn't have the pure element luckily selenium this very interesting element is one of the ones that I do have so here it is here's uh, selenium and it's in just a glass ampule. Um, you can see it's in the form of a little shot. 